Okay, um, we're back into the, the networking lab and what you can see here is that I've got two windows up. The first is the, the Wellington machine and the second is the, the Taupo router. And we're going to go through um, identifying uh, locating and then fixing that that very first bug um, that's been that you've been taken through in the lab script. So I'm going to start out by uh, on on Wellington um, identifying this first bug just by trying to ping Taupo. How do I know what Taupo's IP address is? Well, if I log on to Taupo router with the same username and password as usual, and I type ifconfig. I look through this. Um, I can find Taupo's IP address which in this case is 10.0.3.2. You can see it has a few different IP addresses on there. Um, the reason I'm using the 10.0.3.2 IP address is that um, that should be the uh, the connection that any traffic from Wellington is coming in on. Just if you go back and we have a look at this uh, GNS simulator um, here, if I bring it up, um, no, that's not the one that you want to see this one here, uh, what we can see is that traffic coming in from Wellington up here going up to Taupo will come in on this interface which is part of the 10.0.3.0 network. So um, I'm going to ping that, so I type ping dash c1 uh, 10.0.3.2 and what we'll see is I run my ping command and promptly nothing happens and that's because for some reason there is a broken connection between Taupo and Wellington. Um, you can see uh, on the Wellington machine I've only pinged it once and we've got 100% packet loss suggesting that there is no um, there's no good connection between Wellington and Taupo. So what we might do next is to jump on to Taupo and see if the ping packets get there and that's what this TCP dump tool is for. So if I go TCP dump, um, looking back through here, so you notice that the 10.0.3.2 IP address on Taupo router is the F3 interface. So I want to do TCP, TCP dump dash I F3 and that means listen on the F3 interface and once I hit enter it will just sit there like that and that's because there's no traffic coming in at the moment. So let's jump across, let's go back to Wellington and type our ping command like I did before and all of a sudden on Taupo you can see that a packet arrived and so did two ARP requests. Curiously what you'll see is that IP, that, that line that starts with a whole bunch of well, uh, a time and date and then IP 10.0.1.2 to 10.0.3.2 it comes into Taupo but it never goes back out and that's a suggestion that the problem is in fact on Taupo and um, Taupo does have an IP address because it's receiving traffic but it's not sending it out and that's a pretty clear indicator that something is wrong with the routes on Taupo. So how might we uh, how might we go and find out what specifically is wrong with the routes and then how would we fix it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control C to quit out of TCP dump. I'll make this window a bit bigger so it's easier for you to see and then um, I want to go and have a look at Taupo's routes table and I do that by typing route-n. There is Taupo's route table and you can see from the column on the left that Taupo knows how to get to a variety of different networks 10.0.2, 10.0.3, 10.0.4, .5, .6, .7 and 192.168.56.0. What it doesn't know how to get to is the Wellington network. Why? Because the Wellington network is 10.0.1.0 and the other thing to notice is that Taupo has no default route. Now not having a default route isn't always necessarily a bug but what we can say for sure is that Taupo does not know how to get to Wellington. So the solution to this bug is to add a new route to Taupo. Um, we need to add a new route to Taupo which tells it what to do with traffic destined for Wellington and we do this by editing the ETC network interfaces file and I can open that and edit it using the nano tool. So I type in nano slash etc slash network slash interfaces and this is that interfaces file. 
I can see a whole bunch of different interfaces on here and they correspond to all the different IP addresses that this machine has. In particular, I'm interested in the F3 interface. Why? Because that's the 10.0.3.2 network. And once again, if I go back to that GNS3 window that I showed you before, this is the network where traffic should be going that is ultimately down for Wellington. Pretty much, we want to add a rule that says if I'm on Taupo, and I get some data that is intended for Wellington, I should send it south. And so the next hop along that south is the Wellington router. And this connection here on the Wellington router has the IP address 10.0.3.1. How do I know that? Well, this is the 10.0.3 network, and this on our map here has a .1 at the end of it, suggesting that this IP address is 10.0.3.1. So going back to Taupo router, what I need to do is I need to add a new route and we can see that there's a route already added in here so what is this route doing post up IP route add that is the the syntax for adding a new route and it says add a new route to the 10.0.2 network where is that so let's go back and have a look at our map what we can see is that the 10.0.2 network is the masterton network this little one over here and if we go back to Taupo it's saying add a route to that network via 10.0.3.1 and if that sounds familiar which I hope it does by now that's because 10.0.3.1 is the Wellington router all that rule that is saying is that any traffic that Taupo router receives ultimately destined for Masterton has to be sent down to the Wellington router first and the Wellington router will deal with it from there so what we want to do is add something almost identical but add a route to the Wellington network rather than to the Masterton network. So in Nano the easiest way to do this is to go to push Control and K which will cut out that line and then push Control U and then Control U again and that will paste those two lines back in and then all we need to do is change this to a 1. Uh, Control X, exit Nano exits nano say yes you want to save your changes and just hit enter because you want it right it to the same file and then the final thing is we have to reload the changes we made from that file doing that we type service networking oops but we have to spell networking right service networking restart once we do that we'll sit for a minute and we can check whether uh, our changes have had an effect. First, by checking Taupo's route table, route-n, and hey look, we've got a brand new rule up the top which says the destination network, 10.0.1, which is Wellington, send that via gateway. And in fact, if we go back and we do exactly what we did before, so we're gonna set Taupo to listen on um, interface uh, F3, and we go back and do what we did before, which is ping it from Wellington. What we'll see now is that not only does um, traffic come in, but traffic also comes out of Taupo, and all of a sudden our ping request over here has been successful. We've got 0% packet loss on loss our last example. So that's uh, taking you through how I um, identified, and found, and then fixed the first Bogana network. All the others are very similar fixes, so you'll need to go onto machines, have a look at their route table, add in missing routes, with a couple of exceptions, which are slightly, slightly easier. That's how you get through the rest of this lab.